So yeah, we put on this event called Sarapalooza. Uh, this training event was a pretty much a blueprint to advance SAR training to maximize success in the event of a mass casualty or a SAR event. Uh, we really wanted to give the deck crew and the SAR swimmers the most realistic environment possible in order for them to be able to work that unit cohesion, understand how the complexity of the deck uh, portion and also with what's going on in the water with the SAR swimmers. Training. Like, just because we don't do it every day is no, no reason for you not to, you know, take time out your day to do training because this is life saving, right? So training is always important when it comes to SAR. So my crew on the, on the folks, we were setting up the litter, making sure that everything was set up correctly and uh, getting it down to the SAR swimmer in a timely manner. had to be on the same page, whether it's the Ford and F Vang line or the Harrison line. Just everybody, it's a one battle rhythm. So if everybody on the same page, we can get that survivor up on the deck on time. The environment that we set was lifting a Stokes litter out of the water by placing a survivor in it. Safety check. Put the straps on. Get the body in the litter. That was to give them uh, the ability to kind of see what the complexity was between all the different uh, deck gear and lines that were going to be in the water and uh, to really give them a snapshot of what they were going to be dealing with uh, in the ocean. Um, then we transformed into moving up and down via the uh, rescue strop just to add a little bit more complexity and give them a, a realistic look of what it would look like if they had to transition uh, between different types of survivors. You need to be good at this to where no matter what happens, you can perform. Because when you actually go out at sea and you're doing rescues, the ocean's unforgiving. Yeah, I got you. You'll be all right. You have to be all right. Okay. We're doing this because if you don't have these skills, someone's going to die. Let him look it up. They go rescue that boy. I think the event was a great first step for us um, in getting them prepared um, and giving them a, a more realistic look of what they're up confronted with, whether that's the deck crew or the SAR swimmer, um, and a ship as a whole, be prepared for that, that one moment that they're going to have to be able to work together uh, to achieve a SAR operation or a mass casualty.